Welcome back. It is 619, Keeping Teachers Accountable. The education of Hawaii's children has been a focal point for controversy over the last few years. And with that in mind, Civil Beat started digging to find out if any teachers had been dismissed because of unsatisfactory evaluations. And joining us via Skype is CivilBeat.com editor John Temple with more on what was found. Uh, Mr. Temple, thanks for joining us here this morning. Uh, we heard that 10 of 12,000 teachers were dismissed in the last two years. What does that tell us? Well, that, that's correct, and good morning. It's, it's, it's kind of um, a disturbing statistic on, on some levels, but we don't have the complete picture because we worked for eight months to get the Department of Education to share its data with us, and we did get this, this much, that they've only fired 10 out of 12,000 teachers, and they've disciplined another 37. But and they, what we're told by a former union president is they, they never basically fire for incompetency because it's too hard to prove. They fire for behavior issues, which would be misconduct. If this figure is correct, it's incredibly low. And it is shocking, uh, but what about the evaluations? How are these teachers evaluated? Well, that's another area where a, in, in Hawaii, a teacher is only evaluated once every five years. So that alone, most of us know that you get evaluated at least every year on a job. And you must receive an unsatisfactory rating to go into the pool to be eligible for uh, uh, discipline up to dismissal. So they're very rarely evaluated. And, and Mr. Temple, is that because uh, they face challenges? Is that because the Board of Education doesn't have enough money to, to make those evaluations every year, or is it something else? I think, I think we we're... just lost our Skype connection with John Temple. John, are, are you there? Can you hear us? Uh, looks like we I'm lost. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, Actually, now, now you've got us back. Uh, John, I'm I'll... sorry, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay, I'll ask you the question again. Um, That's... When... When you're talking about the evaluations, you said there's one every five years. Why is that? Is it because there's, there's not enough money to, to fund these evaluations, or is it something else that's blocking it? Well, I think there's a number of reasons, but I think one reason is um, uh, evaluations are very time-consuming, and, it, and so there's a, there's, it's a lot of work, so they do require money. We do see that under the um, Race to the Top program that the, uh, Hawaii has been successful in participating in, you'll see that the teachers are supposed to be evaluated once every year, but it's a very challenging thing to do, as anyone who runs a workplace knows, to evaluate everybody once a year. You mentioned earlier that you had a difficult time getting information from the Department of Education. Can you take us through those steps, and, and what's the DOE's response to Civil Beat's story? Well, the DOE is, um, uh, has a very complex record system, record-keeping system, and the DOE tends to, uh, its, its first response to every question is pretty much no, we don't keep the data in that form. And that's what we kept being told until we were finally essentially told to request it in this form that we received it in. And, and um, then the problem becomes that DOE doesn't actually talk about information it releases. It's a very strange uh, behavior, I think, because you'd think that the public you'd think they'd understand that the public is interested in understanding how we make sure that our teachers are doing a good job. No one is accusing teachers of not doing a job, but you want a system with accountability, and you want to make sure that uh, people who are bringing the system down um, are being dealt with. And I mean, in what we found, just to give you an example, was that on Kauai and in the big, on the Big Island, in two years, no teacher was dismissed. Well, it, that's bound to raise questions. Essentially, the department just kept telling us, no, we don't keep it in that form. No, we don't keep it in that form. They kept putting us off until finally we got a form that they would agree to, but they would never tell us what really happened with the unsatisfactory teachers. John, we thank, you. The, John, we thank you for your time. It's, it's certainly a fascinating story and very insightful about our education system and the teachers here in Hawaii. Uh, we'll continue to check in with you uh, every week. Thank you for your time this morning. Thank, John Temple so with Civil Beat. And again, you can find the complete story we just discussed on civilbeat.com. Time now is 624. It is time to talk about traffic and weather now. And let's check in with... Uh,